In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use a rule for a geometric sequence to find some uh, set number of terms or just kind of understand what it's asking. Or rather, what the rule's telling you. It's not really asking anything, is it? All right, what is a rule? A rule for a sequence is a, it's a term for an equation which tells you the nth term in a sequence. So it's just a word we use for an equation which tells us some term in a sequence. All right, so... Um, if I have this rule here, for a lot of folks they see this and they think it's rather frightening, um, but it's really not terrible at all. All right. If I wanted to find the fifth term, I would plug in, right? I would plug in n equals five, and I would do this calculation, and I would get uh, three times one half to the fourth power, and I would find that a sub five is equal to two because if I take uh, 32, and I multiply it by one half to the fourth power. That's the same as dividing it by two four times. So I get uh, 16, 8, 4, 2. All right. What does this really mean? Uh, so if a sub n is equal to 32 times one half raised to the n minus one power, how would this sequence look? Well, if I set up a table and I had number of term in the sequence is n, and I just kind of worked my way up, right? I would start with the zeroth term. Well, anything to the zero power, I'm sorry, I'd start to the first term, which means I would subtract one, uh, because it's n minus one, right? So one minus one is zero. So I would um, get one half to the zero power. Anything to the zero power is one. So the first term is 32, okay? Next, I'm gonna go ahead and do the second term, where I take the two in n, or I take the 2 as n, and then subtract 1, and I get 32 times 1 half, okay, and I get 16. Do the same thing with 3, just subtract 1, I get 2, put that as the exponent, 1 half uh, squared times 32, so that's basically dividing 32 by 2 twice, I get 8. All right. And uh, I continue to do the same thing with the third term, and I get 4. All right, so the fourth term is 4. All right, so if we listed out the sequence, we'd have 32, 16, 8, 4, etc. Okay, and basically what I'm seeing here is I'm dividing by 2 every time, which means I'm multiplying by 1 half. That's where that comes from. Uh, and uh, what if we just added the common difference uh, each time to figure out our sequence? This is just another way we can look at this. Okay, when I say added, I don't mean like we're using addition, like we're actually just tacking it on there. Well, the first term is going to be 32, right? Not a big deal. And then what's going to happen is this one half here means I'm going to be dividing by 2 each and every step. So I divide 2 the first time, I get 16. And then I divide by 2 again. Again, and I can find more terms this way, and I can kind of keep on cracking, all right? And I would just keep dividing by 2 each and every time, all right? So here I would see that these are the first four terms of the sequence, right? 32, 16, 8, 4, and uh, I would say use whichever one you want to do, okay? If I'm asking you for the first four terms, or if I'm asking you to find the, you know, obviously if you're going up to like the, you know, 10th or 12th term, it would probably just be smarter to plug that number into the rule. Um, but uh, I encourage you to use whatever you want to use. 